All right, guys, so we're back for part two. We're still on Leo, and we're about to get into the Oracle cards. One thing that I do want to mention that sticks out a little bit with the Three of Swords, clarified by the full card, it just makes me feel like, you know, um, you could be embarking on a completely new path. And the fact that you're going on this new path can be a little bit heartbreaking, you know, because maybe you have to disconnect from some people that you're used to consistently being connected to. But you want to follow this path. You know that this is what you're supposed to do. You can feel it in your bones that this is the direction that you should be moving. This is the direction that you're going. And like I said from the beginning of the of the reading, you know, you really have someone spiritual around you who is really giving you this guidance. Like I said, it could be a grandmother or a mother on the other side who's communicating with you you may be aware of this you may not be aware of this but this person is most definitely all around you yep because look you got council of light which says divine orchestration helpers in the subtle realm so someone is helping you leo someone your ancestor your guides you know the first ancestor that pops in your mind that's who it is you know they're assisting you so, you know, you can trust, you can trust that the information that you're receiving, that the downloads that you're receiving, that the intuition that you're feeling in your bones and in your body, you can trust that it's coming from someone who supports you, knows your vision, knows where you're going, knows what you're trying to create and wants you to get there, period. And then we had the moon clarified by the four of wands. So because you're embarking on this new path, you may be confused about a relationship. You may be confused about a community that you're usually engaged in. Um, or like I said, this could be hidden. Someone could be getting married or engaged and you just don't even know about it. Like, you know, it's going to come in and it's going to be like, oh my gosh, they're married. Or it, it could be you, yo. So... You know, you know, you know. Okay, so, you know, because the moon card with the four of wands is like hidden union, a hidden marriage, a hidden union. It doesn't have to be that, though. It could just be like a surprise engagement, you know. So it, 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 it all depends on your story. It depends on how you perceive it, what you see. Okay, so we have boundaries. So let's do boundaries boundaries that's one of my favorite words people know all i talk about is boundaries <laughs> like that's my favorite thing ever since i was an empath i was like boundaries who who made this what they put in this like <laughs> where do you need to establish better boundaries leo you are being called to create clearer boundaries in your life. This could be with your friends, family, or work, okay? So saying yes when you really mean no, when you really mean no, leads to resentment, which is the biggest energy drain ever. At, far, at first, it might only be a little bit and not feel like a big deal, but before you know it, your energy field becomes porous and you are left feeling depleted, resentful, or taken advantage of. Saying no and having clear boundaries is actually a spiritual act. The most giving, loving, compassionate people are those with the clearest boundaries. For when they say yes, they are able to give unconditionally. When your boundaries are clear, others know where they stand and you are able to give freely. If you are not clear where your boundaries lie, this causes confusion, resentment, and energetic cords to be planted. If you are saying yes when you really mean no, you are likely needing something yourself. Ask yourself, what part of me needs something from them? It could be a need for approval, a fear of being seen a certain way, or a fear of loss. The best way to gauge your boundaries is to check in with your belly. Your belly is your second brain. It's your gut. It's your solar plexus chakra. Um, it has an intelligence known as your gut feelings. Tune into this space when deciding what is okay for you. How does it feel? What is it trying to communicate with you? Okay? Council of Light. I really like this one because I could feel from when the reading first opened, like you definitely have someone around you. They're all in the room right now, just dancing over my head. It's crazy. They're crazy. I don't even know dance. 
<laughs> I'm playing. So it says, they're like, girls, stop playing so much. Um, divine orchestration, helpers in the subtle realms. The Council of Light is a team of benevolent beings, meaning good, or, you know, meaning you well, who are here to assist the raising of consciousness of the planet. They are here to help you achieve your soul mission and are guiding you every step of the way. However, because we live in a world where free will reigns, they cannot help you without your permission. So your guides are here. Your ancestors are here. They're definitely saying, like, can you speak with us a little bit more? Like, asking ye shall receive, like, when you need assistance with something, can you please say, God's ancestors, I give you permission to step in and completely, you know, guide me through this situation or take control of this situation for the best benefit of the all, the highest gooder of the great, the greater, I'm the CEO or, you know. So it's just like they, if you would like their assist, assistance, it is time to ask them. You have to ask because we have free will. They are not allowed to step in without permission but as soon as you give them permission you will literally see stuff moving around you're gonna be like oh my god they're moving the pieces on the board already you know they see obviously they're coming into your reading leo because they see that there are specific things that they can really help you with and but you're not calling on them to help you and so they're like please just call us because we really can help you right now like literally so they can help you with all kinds of requests like nothing is too big nothing is too small and literally that's what is it think of them as your personal team of helpers in the spirit realm they are willing and ready to step in and get to work what would you like help with what tasks would you like to delegate to them you know and the more you speak with them the stronger the connection is the more you realize when they're in the room the more you realize when they're communicating with you you the more you realize when they're giving you a message or a download that you need and you understand that it's them assisting you. It says the Council of Light is a team of ascended masters, light beings, angels, and guides devoted to the rising of earth and all humanity. If you are a light worker, it is from them that you receive your personal mission, like a spirit world united nations. They want to thank you so much for doing this work and devoting your life to uplifting the planet. Pray to them for clarity and guidance regarding your personal mission. A word. Put in your requests and let them get to work. Okay, so the last little work your light oracle card says, men talking, and I need to hurry up. It says, longing for home, belonging, the original light workers. Um, so this is definitely talking about you're looking for your home, like you're looking for your person, you're looking for like where am I supposed to settle down and put my roots down as far as like moving or buying a home or something like that? You're also looking for like your job that, you know, gives you purpose and all of that. So it's just like you're looking for home right now, Leo. So it says Mintakins are a soul group who originated on a planet in the constellation Orion. Shout out my home team. What's up, gang? They were the first star beings to travel to Earth. What, what? And believed to be the original light workers. The Mintakins home planet is thought to have been a water world. Magic Mermaid, you know the name. Um, okay. Okay, that was confirmation. Oh, y'all really just did all that? They just scared me a little bit. <laughs> The Mintakins home planet is thought to have been a water world with water so pure that you could see through it for miles. For this reason, Mintakins feel most at peace and at home when in or around crystal clear water. So you may be traveling to a beach or something or you might need to travel to a beach or maybe that's where home is for you. To teach us to see the potential in everything and the light in all beings. Many men talkins have an odd longing for home and struggle with feeling like they don't belong. It is thought that this is due to their home planet no longer being in existence. If you pull this card, it could mean that you are a men talking or are longing for a sense of belonging. And root chakra healing is necessary for you to feel secure and safe. Um, I'm going to stop right there and move to the other cards, but I highly recommend you guys do root chakra healing. I'm a Reiki healer. You can reach out to me if you want me to heal you via Reiki. Um, there's a great meditation on YouTube by Deepak Chopra, which is a chakra clearing. So that's a great place to start. But really, this is about you getting organized and you manifesting exactly what you want, Leo, and knowing that I don't have to settle as long as I.